Good afternoon and welcome to this week's Serious Security Seminar at Purdue University. Today's speaker is Jack Jones. He's been employed in technology for 25 years, specializing in information security and risk management the past 18. He's worked in the military, government intelligence, consulting, and within the financial and insurance industries, including five years as a CISO for a Fortune 100 financial services company. He was recognized at the 2006 RSA with the ISSA Excellence in the Field of Security Practices Award. And in 2007, he was a finalist for the Central United States Information Security Executive of the Year Award. As a member of an international ISACA task force, he cur he's currently helping to develop global standards for IT risk management. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jack Jones. Thank you very much. Before I get into the, the meat of the presentation, I'd like to um, ask you what you might think this picture represents. It represents, in my experience, the business executive who just realized his next meeting is with one of us, a security professional. And you can tell he's really excited and, and thrilled at this prospect. Right? And he's really excited and thrilled because in his experience, he's about to meet with honest. This person. Or he might as well be. All right. Somebody speaking a very different language, maybe, um, you know, expressing, you know, trying to get the executive to buy into things through fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and, and you know, best practices that, you know, the tribe down the road follows, and grandpa followed, and that sort of thing. So, um, with that as kind of a, a, a backdrop, the, what I'll share with you today is, is the experience I've had over the last number of years in, in bringing security into alignment with risk management. And, and I say that because in my experience, it is very rare for an executive manager to care about security. I'm not sure I've ever met one. What they care about is risk. And there's an important difference between the two. So that's what I'll be talking about today is kind of laying out my view of the differences between the two and my experience in making the shift between a security professional and a risk management professional and more importantly shifting that perspective and that approach within a, a large information security program in a very large company and uh, some of the successes we had there. I'll probably talk a little bit about some of the challenges we had too. So as I, get, as I said we'll cover the difference between security and risk. Um, talk about making the shift and some use case examples and then some of the benefits that fell out of that. So risk versus security, what's the difference? And, and before I get into the specific differences too, let me share uh, my first experience in, um, in my own lack of education on the topic. So I was the new CISO at Nationwide Insurance and one of the first things you have to do as a new CISO is develop a strategy and then go beg for money. And so I developed my strategy and I went on my begging tour. And one of the senior executives that I sat down across from listened politely and then said, so tell me, Jack, how much risk do we have? Now, if he'd asked me, well, tell me more about the security problems we have, I could have talked all day. But he asked, how much risk do we have? I literally shrugged my shoulders and said, lots. And he said, so if I spend this $12 million you're asking for, how much less risk will I have? Less. As you might imagine, at an insurance company, that wasn't the ideal response. But I managed to get my money, and, and we did great things with it. But I left the meeting with my first taste of not understanding the difference between security and risk management and re recognizing, realizing that there was a difference at least in the eyes of management, I'd better understand that if I'm going to be successful. So I've spent the last number of years um, evolving my own understanding of the difference and trying to become better at risk management and, and understanding where security plays and, and the role we play in that. So risk versus security, what's the difference? Um, very simply, I won't spend a lot of time getting into this, but security has this notion of protecting. Right? And a lot of times, this definitions for security include statements like protecting against the possibility of harm or freedom from danger. Right? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as freedom from danger. 
That doesn't exist in the real world. All right? And we'll talk about possibility and probability in a minute, but that, that use of the term possibility is a subtle but important difference between a security perspective and a risk management perspective. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along. And then risk, as I've defined it, is the probable frequency and probable magnitude of future loss. In other words, how often bad things are likely to happen and how bad they're likely to be. Now, there are a couple of important things to notice uh, with regard to that. First, the use of the term prob probable. All right? So we have a probability issue. All right? But maybe more importantly, there's probabilities not only around the frequency of events, but also the magnitude of events. One of the things I've commonly seen and been guilty of more times than I care to think about in the past is characterizing a risk scenario for management. And even if I'm treating the event frequency as a probability, uh, generally what we don't do is treat loss magnitude as a probability. We call it, we almost always communicate the worst case possible outcome. And worst case almost never happens. In all my years in security, I have, and I have been witness to more incidents than I care to think about, right? Not one even closely came to a worst case outcome. Not close. So if we're characterizing, you know, the risk condition to management and all we're doing is talking about worst case outcomes, we're inflating the risk statement, which is not allowing them to make a well-informed decision. And we're not doing our jobs then, all right? So more about this. Information security, another consideration is information security is just one of the ways in which you can manage risk. You'll hear about, some people talk about transferring risk or avoiding risk and these sorts of things. So this is just one way for management to manage the frequency and magnitude of harm. The other consideration is that outside of risk management context, security has no purpose, no meaning. I have yet to have someone give me a reason to do security things outside of the context of managing the frequency or magnitude of loss. So security is a, a subcomponent, if you will, of, of a risk management strategy. So making the shift. As I, as I alluded to, one of the first things I had to do was come to terms with this whole probability issue. Versus, especially versus possibility. So possibility is binary. Something is possible or it's not. All right? Some people would make the, argue the argument that given enough time, anything is possible, right? Enough monkeys at a keyboard and you get you know, the works of Shakespeare or whatever, right? But, but bottom line, from a practical perspective, things are feasibly possible or they're not. Probability runs the continuum between the two. And this is where we serve, where we provide real value is being able to communicate that to management. Let me give you an example. Let's say, it's a little bit of a gory example, but it works. Let's say I'm in the unfortunate circumstance of having to play Russian roulette. The good news is I get to choose between weapons. My choice is between a standard six cylinder revolver with a single bullet loaded and chambered. My other option is a semi-automatic with a single bullet loaded and chambered. The possibility is equal. It is 100% possible in both circumstances for me to have an unfortunate outcome. All right? The probabilities are real different. And as a decision maker, don't bother me with possibilities. That doesn't help me. The hackers could get you. Duh. All right? That doesn't help me. Talk to me about probabilities. The walls could come crumbling down around you if the hackers get you. Duh. All right? Tell me about probabilities. What's the probable loss magnitude? That's the only kind of information that helps me. Yes, I need to know what the worst case might look like. But if that's a remote possibility, remote probability, caught myself, um, you know, that difference is.